Today at the state capitol, new U.S. representatives were sworn in and a vote for new leadership just wrapped up. For the past few weeks, there were questions surrounding which party would get the position. Our Dennis Owens joins us now live from the capitol with the answer. Dennis. We were expecting drama, Valerie. We got it. We were expecting the unexpected. We got it. A long day, normally a pro forma day here at the State House as they elect a new speaker. And the guy right here, Jim Gregory, a Republican from Blair County, really at the center of the drama. You nominate Democrat Mark Rossi of Berks County mm -hmm. for speaker. Mm -hmm. He gets 115 votes, many Republican votes, including uh, the Republican leader, uh, Brian Cutler. Yes. Why did you nominate Mark Rossi? Well, in politics in Pennsylvania, as you know, Dennis, you're a, a veteran. There are uh, checkers games and there are chess games. And, uh, you know, Mark is no longer a Democrat, as you heard during his speech. He is uh, now a, an independent. And that's huge uh, because he will act as an independent. Mark and I have been through a lot together with our two-year constitutional amendment. Yep. I trust him. I believe in him. And to do so was a little scary, but you know what? This is what we do. We get paid to come here and, and do tough things. You have to feel good that it got 115 votes, so a lot sure. of Republicans followed suit. But here's the big question. Sure. Uh, when the special elections are held, mm -hmm. we assume three Democrats join the ranks here. Does he step down and let Joanna McClinton become speaker, or does he stay as speaker? Have you talked about that? Yeah, probably a question for him. I think he <laughs> is going to be our speaker for the next uh, two years. And um, I just, I know time is short here, but I want the people of Pennsylvania to know that this was done so that we don't adjourn until February. We're going to get the people's work done starting now. Okay. All Thank right. you very Thank much. You. Really appreciate it. So Mark Rossi pledges to be an independent. He says he'll have staff from both parties and caucus with none. And this is kind of capping what was quite a day here at the Capitol. It took just seconds Support, obey, and defend. to swear in 200 House members. But then business as usual took an unusual turn as Democrats protested a vote on speaker and recess was called. In the Senate history, as Kim Ward becomes the first woman pro tem, and for two weeks she's the lieutenant governor too. She joked about that. I called the governor, I'm like, hey, we have like 10 days, what do you want to get done? On a more serious note, she called the House situation a mess. I think they'll have a hard time just getting their troops together on either side. When you have a majority that slim, it's very difficult. So. You know, they'll be, they'll be forced to the middle. Thank you. And that might be good for Pennsylvania. Senate Democratic leader Jay Costa urged patience. I think the public just needs to give us a little, give the House a little time to be able to work through uh, the processes. This is not something unique to Pennsylvania. As we know, what's going on down in Washington, D.C. as we speak. So this is not unusual to have these type of log jams and these type of interests. When you have divided government, this is some of the things that happen over that time. Very exciting. New Senator Greg Rothman was a representative, and he's looking at the bright side for his former chamber. I hope it'll make, it'll force both parties to try to figure out what they have in common and work together, and, and that'll be a good thing. So the headline from the state capitol, Mark Rossi, a Democrat, is the new Speaker of the House, at least until those special elections are held. It could change after that. But for now, Mark Rossi, Democrat from Berks County. Ladies, nobody saw this one coming. That's the story. Let's send it back from you. Wow. Back to you. Everyone, uh, everyone's head spinning on that one, Dennis. We'll, we'll hear more from you at 6. Thank you very much.